Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and welcome to another Legend Squad Builder here on FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. First off, if you guys are looking to buy any coins, then be sure to check out UT Coin Traders. As always, guys, links are going to be down below in the description. Right then, so today my squad is going to be a 4-3-1-2 uh, and I'm going to give you a bit of a disclaimer. I really... Well, I wouldn't say I really didn't enjoy this team, but I struggled. Like, I genuinely struggled, whereas a lot of the teams I've been using in the recent times have been pretty good for me. But uh, I did struggle a little bit with this one. But in goal today, we are going to be using Federico Marchetti. 87 dive and 89 reflexes and 82 positioning. Um, didn't really notice him doing too much, but he has that acrobatic save style. Uh, and other than that, you know, you can tell he's got good reflexes and stuff. Uh, but a pretty average goalkeeper for me this time when I was using him. Uh, right back today, we're going to be using Danny Alves. And I must say, Danny Alves is actually a very, very good player. Up and down that wing, he does marvellous stuff. Like, he's got the four-star skills. He's got terrible work rates for a right back. But still, you could play him at right wing and he, did a, and he would do a fantastic job. I really enjoyed him. Uh, probably one of the better players in this team. So moving on to the centre-back today, we have going to use Sergio Ramos and we're also going to use Chiellini. So you might think that that is two very, very good centre-backs, but Sergio Ramos pushes up a little too much uh, for my liking and Chiellini, I don't know, was just off his game a bit. To be honest, I think it was me being off my game, um, but, I, you know, other than that, they are fantastic centre-backs. Great pace on both of them, uh, great defending, great heading stats, and they're both 86 rated, so you should really expect them to be pretty decent now left back for this team is going to get a nation link with Chiellini and it's going to be the only non-rare in the squad and it is Crisquito Crisquito however you like to pronounce it 82 pace 79 defending and some pretty good stats across the board he's also six foot uh, and has slightly better work rates than Danny Alves but really it's still quite attacking um he he felt quite weak, if I'm honest, uh, but he did up and down the pitch pretty well, and I can uh, only commend him for that. You know, it's not a bad thing to do. So, on to our midfielders then. So, we're going to be using three centre mids. Uh, first one being in Inform Sesc Fabregas, who um, probably the best out of the three, in my opinion. He may not be that based on the stats as they do come through, because uh, it shows he only got one assist in seven games, which is pretty poor. But I enjoyed him on the ball and stuff. He doesn't feel too slow, even though he's got 69 pace. Uh, but 84 dribbling, 82 shooting, and 91 passing. Pretty incredible stats right there. And I think more in a central cam, he is a god. Because I've used him before, and he was a very, very good player. Central centre mid is going to be in form Isco. Uh, I would have preferred to play Fabrega Fabregas in the middle. But for chemistry reasons, I needed to have the perfect link between Isco and our boy Sergio Ramos right there. So uh, th otherwise, Fabregas would have got 7 chem, I think. Or Sergio Ramos, I can't remember which one. Uh, but, you know... The midfield trio here, I'm going to put Pielo into this squad, uh, is all based around passing. I mean, Pielo, 91 passing, Isco, 83 passing, and Fabregas, 91 passing as well. It's just ridiculous. All three of them are pretty much maestros when it comes to uh, getting the ball through to your strikers and stuff. Uh, but I just struggled a bit with this time. Maybe it was because the, the team is so narrow. This formation has no real wide players apart from your left and right back. Uh, and I, I think that might be struggle. I, I tend to play a little bit of wide play, but I do like the ping pong passing, as you will have guessed if you've watched me on the society. Um, I do like to do the one twos and chip over the top and stuff like that. So uh, I'm not sure why this didn't work for me this particular time, but perhaps it was just me this week. You know, I haven't been the greatest, but um, some weeks I just smash people five or six nil, others I lose. So this has just been one of them weeks, but we move forward. Our, our cam for this team is going to be Di Natale. Now he scored a couple of goals in this team and he got, he's got 86 pace, 87 dribbling, 86 shooting. Crazy, crazy stats right there. He's a default striker and I think, to be honest, I did wrong by playing him at a cam. He would be better up front. Uh, but, you know, so be it. I live and I learn. And moving forward to our strike force. So we've got the regular card of Balotelli. When I made this squad, the inform wasn't out. He's just come out as I'm making this right now. Uh, and if I tried this again, I would definitely try and get hold of the inform Balotelli. Because if you look at this one, he's got two goals in seven games. And that's poor, even for my standards. Uh, but he has got six, uh, six assists, which is obviously very good. Um, 
And it just shows that I was trying too hard to get the ball to this guy, Inzaghi, who is our legend in this legend squad builder today. And I really wanted good things from him because he's got 85 pace, 75 dribbling, 74 shooting, 74 heading. They're not great stats. He's obviously very pacey, but uh, it's kind of like an informed silver stats, really. But uh, he's got really high finishing and stuff like that. I paid 700k for him, uh, and I struggled to even score a goal a game, which... I think if I used him with like Vieri or someone, he might he might do a bit better. But uh, as I said, probably just not my time with this team this week. Uh, but other than that, the squad looks really good. Like it's it's got all the good players in the right places and stuff. Um, but just perhaps maybe a different formation would have worked slightly better. Um, but you know we will try that again next time. We'll move on to something a little bit wider for the weekend uh, and see how we get on with a new legend. Um, so. What I'll do now is I'll move over and show you some of the bare minimum goals that I actually scored with this team. I do apologise for that if the clips are quite short. But we'll move on to that guys and I'll see you over there in a second. Alright then guys, so it is goal time and we start things off with a very, very jammy goal there for Balotelli. One of his two goals for my squad this game. Uh, he should have got that volley right there, lovely save from Joe Hart. But he punts in the rebound uh, and that is a sort of a nice... Oh, it's a typical goal you get on FIFA with the rebounds and stuff. Then a defensive mistake in the 84th minute leads. I uh, believe that was Di Natale through to get a little dink over the keeper. As I've said to you guys, I score so many of them, it's ridiculous. Uh, and then Di Natale there with a tidy bang finish. Great ball through there from Balotelli. Got a nice goal coming up here with Isco. Good ball over from Ballo. Uh, showing one of those six assists he actually got for me. And a lovely strike across goal from the inform Isco. A wonderful little player. He is uh, very fun on Ultimate Team. If you can get him in the right space and stuff. Unfortunate there from PLO on the wrong foot. Uh, I hoped he was going to open up his body. But Inzaghi just taps it in. He literally could have done nothing else but score there. Ball in from Ballo. And then Inzaghi's not too bad in the air. 74 heading is not the worst that to have. Uh, I guess one of his things like jumping or something is just quite low maybe. Um, but he shows some dribbling here. You know, it's quite tight. I believe it's... 79 dribbling on his card was it and then an easy little finish into the back of the net uh, but it is you can consistently see Balotelli playing those lovely balls through. He hasn't got particularly great passing, but I've got to say, six assists in the seven games from a striker uh, is quite impressive. Another one there from Ballo. And if you were playing well with this team, like sometimes I would, sometimes I wouldn't, then that is the exact sort of goal you would expect to score with Inzaghi. Just get him through, use that pace, uh, and then he is so clinical if you can properly get him in miles of space. Uh, like right here, look at that for a volley. I really did like that one. And that is the final goal I've got to show you today, guys. So, if you have enjoyed, please drop a like on the video. That would be epic. And I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Peace.